to this light language transmission today. Um, I just heard something. Um, I heard I forgot something or I forgot everything. Someone speaking. Cante it at a tamaris in a itukuna is naked like a tama decatomus at the tare, the caroma tacatanare. You might be feeling a bit more tired. They're saying it's the portal, it's because of the activations and all the work you've been doing in these portal days, portal days. I don't know how you want to call them. Kenta is taka to una shakaran takilina is naka ta umbakara ure tenere in. I can see um, lions and tigers, especially tiger heads. Um, Lyran energy is present. Kenta is na iku to tona na shinakili ito kuno tatata na rinda us na ikita mashoka etere na leka nambaku utaka. Uh, they're showing me also a being that is half dolphin, half human looking. And they're showing me another animal um, or hybrid, I don't know exactly, but it's coming from the earth, the first thing I got was earth element, earth belonging to earth and I saw four paws but I can't really see the rest, I can see furry paws. But Kanti itamasina ishur and dogota and nelegan and tain that at the kirimeris na iku to and that i takata and masukara teglimis na ishtukara teneti taikere karanarasina ikata and bookluk takata ana yushuna kere. Dragons are present as well. And it's very difficult to, to see. I feel like I'm. They don't want me to describe what I'm seeing because they are showing me and as soon as I open my mouth, they just take it away again. So I Okay, so it's more about the energy. Um, if you need rest, rest. So you might um, have done, I don't know, activations or work on yourself or um, I also they are also showing me um, dreams that have been more frequent and I can understand you have some of you have made peace with others in their dreams and the dreams are talking to you the dreams that you are getting are extremely clear and they feel very real life like um or the ones i'm talking about it's you're solving problems um in higher dimensions you're solving problems in your dreams and they're saying not only global ones but also personal ones this is why why this making peace comes up because apparently i don't know maybe you made peace in a dream with someone you are in no contact with or you haven't seen for a long time because you block them or i don't know i get the reason it is not a person that you are friends with but in your dream there was there is this feeling of being friends or being connected on the same frequency something like that wow okay they're also saying you are bringing other people um 
to new heights. You bring other people into new frequencies, into new dimensions, or um, you are a portal to for them so they can grow and and I also hear receive like um, people around you or it could also be animals or plants or trees or whatever you give your heart to is growing I can see someone using um, dice and the attacks might also amplify. Excuse my dog. <laughs> Your senses are extremely heightened. So whatever tries to attack you or whoever wants to steal from you, you're picking it up you're getting it through dreams through your intuition through other people's words you're getting the message before it happens or you're i don't know it feels like you know the future or you know what will happen and they want you to they really want you to be courageous and trust your intuition because it feels like you will have to be doing something against I don't know if it's against the law I don't want you to do anything um, bad or illegal okay but this is the message I have to get it out so I don't know um, there's something about trust your intuition and not the common sense so you need to or so you it it feels like you will have to or you will get to a point where you have to decide do i listen to my intuition or do i listen to what i am supposed to be doing okay so you have to decide between two things one thing is the thing you should be doing and the other thing is your intuition telling you not to do it or to do it and okay I can see in this and I can see doors opening the thing is your intuition is your truth your intuition is the truth and it is directly linked to source this is what i'm hearing okay get that and there is the mission i didn't know that isn't it it's not a take a nice name it and the guru that got in this you might have um bones <laughs> that are snapping i don't know i can eat a male to my snow or a ticket on a reason it wow okay um there's also um, joints and knees or um, I don't know joints hurting or you might be someone who's never ill and now you have something or you had something in the last few days or it is I hear a readjustment so this was needed okay it's it wasn't because you forced too much it was meant this way the thing is that you get them as they sure that they can they, they are trying to make us understand or make us see the world from a higher perspective instead of just grabbing or understanding the things around us we should see things from a higher perspective i get the team as the intuition at least in the kid the mother to grow the link and i do to the carry night and it is not is to calendar it and oh i hear you are not a name or you are not a title or you are not they're saying you are not a, a date or a name or um I don't know a title or something people call you you are a frequency and do you know your frequency I don't know is there a book called do you know your frequency there's something about frequencies maybe you have listened to frequencies or 
you need to know you are a frequency and and they they also say portal portal so you're a frequency and the higher your frequency gets the more or or the the better portal you become you are a portal for other people they step into new realms through you or with your help or because you just your presence it doesn't really feel like you have to do much they're showing me hair um, that is what do you call that when it's electrified when it moves up hair that you know seems to fly in the air single hairs <laughs> and they are saying antenna so I don't know if they're talking about your hair as being antennas or if and I can see some something inside of the hair growing so okay some of you have gotten more sensitive and need rest so this is why they are saying you might feel very tired after the portal portal days or after this line gate um, or after an ascension or something you have done okay so this could also be at another time that you listen to this but you have you have done something or you have been somewhere or, or you have received some treatment or something and hair is significant some something inside of your hair i can see inside of the structure of the hair and i can see like something growing it feels a bit like something out of this world and i hear ai okay <laughs> you also might get migraines or headaches um, or tight muscles even if you if there's no reason um, but you go with the flow I hear you go with the flow and you understand and they are saying without understanding so you are all right with not knowing you're all right with not understanding they're um, showing me how you fly I don't know if you are flying on a dragon or if you are I can see it feels a bit like I see the world through the eyes of an eagle it's very sharp but you fly higher I can feel also my you might feel there's there there it feels like the body is in this balance I don't know if you need to readjust your um, your back or Your shoulders or something seems not quite in alignment and and I hear out of place something is out of place and it could also be something in um, if you have animals it could also be your animal because they were just showing me an animal needing some harmonization bringing into alignment all the bones I cannot tell my he to us now I shouldn't take it out and take it in at that time that is sick and they keep on showing me how you fly and you see it doesn't look like in a dream it feels more like in real life flying and seeing things from above Wow okay <laughs> okay um, some of you can send an eye out like a And it has been used for stalking I don't know but you have the capacity to use this eye and um, it's as if you could 
as if you had a camera, which is an eye that you can throw up in the air and with your mind, you can move it around and you can see, but it's more about, you can see the future. So very interesting. It's, you can see what will happen. So you have the capacity to use your third eye or a fourth eye. I don't know how many eyes <laughs> we have, but it's an eye that can be used externally from your body and can be used for the past and the future. And it doesn't feel like a a machine. It feels like something organic. I can see, I can smell something like, you know, the taste of medicine or those sprays they use when you have wounds to disinfect things. I can smell like a hospital or how it smells in hospitals. Or maybe you have been clearing or cleaning your house or I can see white a white floor being mopped. And someone will move houses or because the house they are in is it has holes. It, it looks like there are holes and a lot of insects come through these holes into the inside. And it could also be energetic holes because I can see them in a dark, it's like dark circles all around the house. And you might love the, the surroundings or the peace or the place, but it's not your house, I hear. This is just for someone, okay? I can see again people um, taking stars down to bring them to kids. I don't know, I've seen this before. It's as if some of you were able to reach to the stars and bring them to the little ones, which are the big ones, they say, the little ones, not all of them, but a lot of them are extremely high vibrational and will, they won't have to go through the same things as you because you have managed to clear the path. Um, you have made sure that they can come in a high frequency and stay in a high frequency. There's also this energy of a lot of you preparing for the new earth and you you are preparing this um by helping others not to go through all of the pain or or i don't know there's also something if something didn't work out the way you wished for it doesn't mean that it won't it's just it wasn't this time and it has happened in the spiritual realm or on another dimension you have managed to free something or free someone from something and I hear abuse also there's I don't know you are probably working and helping others and and they say again they are showing me a portal and a gate and and a bridge and you're like a bridge or am I out of breath without doing anything so maybe breath work could help you there's also a nervous energy around around you surrounding you or um, I can feel that more and more beings that seem to leech onto people are getting 
nervous because they feel wow and you might get attacked because i can feel it in my back you might get attacked more often but they can't reach you because you're so far away energetically you're so far away you can't be it's like someone trying to attack the sun and throwing things in the direction of the sun and it will fall back down and, and hit them <laughs> i can see those two that's interesting I, I i just had this picture of there's i don't know your right shoulder or something with the right shoulder sometimes you might feel like a poking or A little pain some of you don't feel pain at all what I was seeing was those two circles coming together and it felt like the Sun and the moon coming together um, <sighs> I don't know why they showed me a dragon with an apron it felt like the dragon was in the kitchen or maybe you are working in a kitchen or with food or something and there's dragon energy in the food and i also hear dragon blood maybe you use dragon blood to clear your space i miss itakash wow some of you when they walk through a shopping center you are drawing like an energetic golden light everywhere you walk this is why oh this is interesting this is why when you are walking into a shop or somewhere okay there's no one in the shop but you walk in there because you need something or you want to see something after you there's many many more walking into this shop this is you have this um energy or you're leaving it's like a snail you know that leaves the snail trail behind but it's it's um not only on the floor i can see like a path opening up but it it looks a bit like a portal or a, yes like a portal but in a long like a tunnel okay but a tunnel of golden light so wherever you walk <laughs> people that walk in behind you are being they might not be conscious about it but they can feel this energy and they want to get some of it this is why you might feel stalked or <laughs> this is why you might feel like you attract people you don't want to attract or this is because of your energy and your energy has I hear amplified all the time. I don't know. There's a lot of clarity that has come to you in the past weeks or days. You have understood or there, I don't know if your mind has gotten the last piece of puzzle they are also talking about these children or these young adults being extremely evolved and being like a bridge um, and I can see some of them being highly connected and they are directly connected to past loved ones that have that don't live on earth anymore but they see them same for i can even see someone with a tree talking to a tree that has been cut and the spirit inside of the tree is still connected to this i think i don't know if it was i can't really see if it's a girl or a boy but this child has been with this tree when they were little a lot and this tree is talking to this now adult being and giving advice for 
the natural like everything that is nature and nature on earth and again uh, they are also talking about roots kanti imarasna ishnura teketanale inta awara someone is is still recovering or has difficulties with breathing kamtere naratikala misna ishuna itekinare na la mundura ndakari na risna kitena ishuna kale ndakara ndakira mtiku utakera na risina yukra sta kutishna kerete na le na rasata tais na rekite ndaki kru arene I don't know what it is called but I can see like oil being poured over the third eye or the head and it feels very calming and they say again rebalancing so i don't know if something is not quite in alignment and it feels more like um it's a bone structure or something in your something in your um body not not in your emotional or mental space or energy body okay it feels more like the last one <laughs> the last one and i hear the last one standing so i don't know if you are you might be the the last one from the family and i also hear family tree there's something happening with a family tree or you're looking into your family tree or your origins and where you come from and who has done the same thing or has had gifts that they shared with others far back someone else is getting a lot of help and guidance from a very old wise woman a shaman or a very wise woman who was healing with plants and I can see a lot of leaves tea leaves maybe and I can also see someone growing tea plants and they are showing me um the top of the mountain that is covered in snow and like white smoke going up it's like around this little part of the top of the mountain that is covered in snow around it i can see like a circle of smoke white smoke It might be a ritual or something. Anti iram para ute nara. And I hear someone telling someone else, "Don't be scared to die," or "Dying is not scary." Um. And I hear you have done this before. Kandi marin resinda ishun na lekinta. Some um yes, many not many but. A few of you have had near death experiences or have been sitting next to dying parents or someone dying and they have seen that dying is smooth and feels very relaxing for the person that leaves and you all you will always meet your loved one doesn't really matter if it was a human or an animal gandhi marineris nash you are not scared of dying i i feel gandhi taimas no ocean take it take a nor or wow <laughs> someone i just saw this beautiful being with a ruby 
at the place of their third eye. It's like a ruby inside of the skin, but it feels or it feels like it belongs there. It, it has always been there. And I hear new race. So they're speaking about a new race. The, the, the skin is very, it feels pale, but at the same time it feels not pale at all. It's very difficult to describe. It's, mm, it's like a being that has all the races in it. <laughs> But it's extremely beautiful. It's an extremely beautiful being. And the frequency is high. And it's as if they were able to connect or contact or be in contact with human beings because they have they are able to lower their frequency. They are showing me like a, um, um, what are they called? A sensor lifts. <laughs> what are they called? Um, they are called elevators. It's, it feels like this being or these beings, the races, the new race is able to lower their frequency as if we would step into an elevator and go down into the basement for example with it and they can go up again and they have the capacity to breathe and to survive longer than most extraterrestrials or galactics <laughs> some of you are extremely connected or are communicating um daily with their fairies or with elementals because i just i was just shown a lot of elemental beings mermaids have also come forward more I don't know if you are looking into mermaids or their history or where they come from or you feel like you have a connection and also mint um and i hear the lost souls i don't know if or the lost home your karma has been paid off or something you don't owe anything to anyone anymore or you are living extremely freely you don't you know that you you sense or you feel or you know exactly when someone tries to just make you do something that if it's not coming from you you are not doing it but you're staying nice you know um you, you might get people getting a bit agitated around you or feeling freaked out or irritated i don't know it feels like they are being scared because your elevation is not comprehensible they can't understand how you did something even though you are explain you might explain to them or your transformation something with your transformation or your change of lifestyle or change of maybe you just change your clothes or your way of talking to people and or handling things i don't know um it has to do with your energy and there are even people not wanting to approach you because they are scared of you. They are scared of the unknown. And I have, um, I can feel a pain in my heart, just a little, maybe this is painful for you or, but I can see people laughing. So, and, and it feels like you <laughs> are laughing or you are, taking it extremely lightly whatever 
happens around you and you can see through people right away you can see through messages mails um things you hear you can your i don't know your your frequency is so high and your senses are heightened and and so your gifts have been activated or some of them are here because and i hear eight i don't know if the if august or this portal that we just had um has done anything or you have worked on it or you have or the number eight might be significant or the infinity symbol i can see someone wearing an infinity symbol um kanti ita imas no ushna aritikila imagro or the kinaris kinaris no ushna and you follow your intuition you follow your inner guidance at all times i hear and this is what is saving you this is what is needs courage as well because <laughs> you might be a bit insecure at the beginning you're you might not be sure if it's a good idea to follow your intuition because your reason says something else and everyone around you says something else as well it might even be your partner that says something else first but they will follow you the thing is it's it's i don't know you're stepping up you have stepped up you are understanding more and it's something that is not visible and you know you are being extremely protected and i can see this tiger head again showing up and it's showing up on my right so i don't know if this is someone might have a, a tiger tattoo or might think about getting a tattoo of a being that gives them strength there's also a fire element or a fire i don't know if fire is important i'm missing the eater or, or more action you're coming into more action or you have well i don't know you must have activated something but um golden red as colors come through as well um i hear tori i don't know this is random Yes, I can. I, I, I'm getting this energy of parents that are being extremely understanding and connected and being able to give their children or little children such great advice and guidance they are it feels like star seeds helping the newcomers that come from the stars that are above what we do with their gifts and talents above i don't know why i said above but they are they don't need to fight they're extremely and i also hear benevolent beings they're extremely soft beings they're extremely angelic and extremely calm they have less of this fighting energy they might be extremely energetic but they're smooth this is <laughs> smooth comes through i don't know how to explain it they have their fights they they because you're giving them the ground they need like you're you're making sure that this planet is ready for the ones after you you're like the teachers the path um what are they called the pioneers the ones that open up the gate and then let everyone go through or let the ones that are allowed to go through or you connect the younger ones to the world something you you are extremely important as well it's not like you have fought and then you don't mean anything anymore it's more like a work a co-creation you are guiding them because they are very young still and they have extreme gifts and talents but 
they are not used to using them in the world and because you know the world and of the world or you are more of the world and have the codes and you know how to I don't know why this comes through I don't I don't really want to say it but I have to so it's like you know how to go around the rules or or how to why it's like the personal rules are getting more important the freedom of humanity is growing and and you're only using the thing is and I hear corruption because a lot in the system is corrupt if not you know like you sense and know where the angels sit in the corrupt system <laughs> somehow or you you can point out which ones are the good ones and which ones um, we should avoid I will be blocked I'm sure or banned or something it's like <laughs> I can see now I see a very blue silver blue white dragon and um, it was just speaking about or sending me this energy or frequency of power and strength and courage a lot of courage like you know what you're dying for it feels a bit like this warrior spirit of I am fighting for my rights or I am you know going into this war because I know if I do this I can I don't know help this planet be a better place it's like you're not scared anymore to do things that most people might believe as being wrong someone I can see this is the second time I see it this is why I'm saying it there's someone sitting next to a lake and in this lake there's a being that is communicating with them for a while already and the lake doesn't really have water that is see-through the lake it's something about this person being able to do for the lake or for the water or for I don't know if this being in the water needs the help of this human being it feels a bit like this or like it's giving giving like this person can channel the messages of this being in the water if you haven't done this if this resonates next time you sit near the water open your channels and write down what you are getting or feeling or sensing or smelling or hearing yes um, and they are showing me the hair again that looks electrified like in the air flying in the air and I can see single hairs and they look like antennas because inside of the hair I can see like a metal long thing that is extremely sensitive to vibrations or energies you're not fighting for um, there's something with fights or you're not fighting anymore with human beings that are not you're letting uh, okay so human beings that are not resonating with you or are not on the same frequency as you if they are trying to attack you you let others deal with it you're making sure that you I don't know if you're paying someone to deal with these other beings or if you are giving it to God or your angels or your dragons but you are it feels like you are just up there and too busy to create and make sure that the path is clear and open for the ones that follow you and it has nothing to do 
with being a guru or the one everyone wants to follow it's more like the the following will happen naturally it doesn't you don't even know who you are opening the path for but these young ones will come and these young ones they look young or extremely they might be extremely youthful looking but they are extremely old souls or very high vibrational beings or or with extreme talents and qualities and to them it's normal for example to see other dimensions or visit them in you know in the same day they can just go like to the 13th to the 8th to the 7th dimension to the 5th and come back and just they're living in all of the these dimensions at the same time they're like much freer than you might feel oh okay i i was just being shown a baby that was only able to sleep safe and sound while listening to frequencies so i don't know if the parents you know put frequency music on I, there's a seven in the frame i don't know there's a seven somewhere in the i don't know how many hertz how do you say that um but the seven is inside there somewhere i can eat thomason or it's seven days a week or seven something with seven or they started in july okay this transmission is taking or or making me feel tired again so i won't be able to do much more i hear 13 13 I couldn't they're showing me something that humans can eat it looks a bit like caramel <laughs> or it has the structure of caramel but soft caramel and it looks like I don't know I can't really describe it. It looks like a chocolate bar but in colors of the desert <laughs> and very soft and sweet. Okay, so um, what is important for you is to share your truth, not to try to teach others how to... Like you're not giving your truth out so people can copy it, you are teaching them to listen to your truth to open up to their own truth you somehow you are the true teacher you're not giving a plan number one you need to wash your hands number two you need to walk three miles number four you need to talk to god for 10 minutes you know like there's no structure you're teaching them how to understand what's happening by being you and sharing your story this is why your i can see hands as well so you might write something you could even write a book about your life or you could speak or sing because through singing the vibration is doing the same thing it could also be codes you i hear light codes so and I can see light codes in this golden tunnel that is behind you, wherever you go. Especially where there's a lot of people. Or you might walk through, I don't know, a place where there's no one and then suddenly everything fills up after you. You attract. 
you attract and it's your frequency okay it's your your energy your and i hear good work on yourself and your freedom freedom is somehow being smelled I don't know, I can see hyenas smelling the air. So this might be significant. And also there's coming something through about crystals. You might have had someone talking about a crystal or telling you a story about how, what they went through while choosing a crystal or while touching a crystal or a crystal is calling you. There's something about a crystal, one that you already have or one that is calling you. And if this is your message, you know which one it is. And there might be even two. One that you have and one new one. Or you just got one new. And someone is also, I, I can see the fingers. And I don't know if you are using your fingers because they are linked to your organs or meridians or something like that. And you are teaching others there's i also had just this pain in my tooth on the right i don't know if someone has toothache someone's dog someone's dog is not a dog is not a normal dog is a it, it feels like it's an ancestor that had that wanted to and it was an ancestor that had a similar dog in a in another lifetime and it could be an ancestor that has lived two three four hundred years ago somewhere else or I don't know there's someone's dog has your ancestor is your ancestor <laughs> Or they have come through and it it could be a dog that is ill or that is not um, in such good health or has had a lot of health problems and this ancestor wants you to know that it was only able to make this deal of I don't know how many years okay so or you might have had an animal that it doesn't have to be a dog it could even be a cow or you know a, an animal that was very near to you a rabbit or a, a cat and <clears throat> this <coughs> animal has gone very early it's not i feel like it's not an old animal and i can see they're showing me i don't know is this a frog a um, ceramic you know a, a this is a frog that you have either in your garden it's not a real one it's um or you have sculpted one or you're selling sculptures to maybe fairies or beautiful beings and they're living it's some someone is creating objects that you can either put in your garden or into your home um, as decoration but these are living or you are putting I can see someone blowing into their I don't know into the mouth of this frog and into other objects and they are giving them a soul or giving them a being and it's it's something positive because it's filled with love and and golden very clear light some somehow i don't know someone is it's a good thing or you should be doing this okay i just heard you need rest so apparently i need rest and i need to stop here is there anything else 
see you tomorrow apparently i'm allowed to say see you tomorrow so i'm very um someone is scared because i wanted to say i'm very happy to be able to see you tomorrow again and scared came up so someone is scared it doesn't feel like it's you someone is scared that they lost you forever this comes through it's not for everyone oh it could be a twin flame or a twin flame oh there's something about twin flames but they they are not living together or not um you know they know they or one twin flame is um has already gone is in another dimension um or the age difference the age gap is extremely there's there's something with twin flames i don't know maybe you have looked it up or i don't know <laughs> um eight twenty or 2020 could be significant they just i saw an eight and a 20 and this could be i don't know a number or a um maybe you wake up at 8 20 or you woke up at 8 20 or you were born at this time it feels like a time on the yes um <laughs> So random and and i hear adjustments and i'm seeing what are they called house shoes they look a bit like house shoes um what are they called um they're called like they're they're looking like slippers that are pointy at the end like I, I I heard Aladdin. It's like Aladdin's slippers or what he's wearing as shoes. Maybe someone is making shoes like this and I can see that the it's I don't know if it's made out of silk, but it has a very silky feeling. And I can also see a garden dwarf or I don't know. <laughs> and I um, someone might have dreamt of a huge eye looking at them or you have been diving and you um and a whale or a dolphin has come close up to you because I can see a huge eye and it feels like a water animal or you have been in the water while someone has watched you or something like this because it's the, it i can see a huge eye or maybe you want to maybe you're building a house and you want to to make round um i can't even say the easiest things <laughs> um windows like round windows like boats have are they called fish eye i don't know but you know this round maybe you have one or you have a mirror that looks like one of those windows They're saying bye bye, see you soon. Bye bye, see you soon. Um, thank you so much for being here. I hope some of the messages resonated, and um, I'm extremely grateful for all of you and for all your messages and all your donations and everything you do, and especially for your energy and um, for you being open and contributing so much to this world, and also for sharing your you know your talents and gifts um this should be a platform where you can you know exchange and help each other that would be amazing but i'm not gonna bravel on i'm wishing you a beautiful day <laughs> or evening and i see you tomorrow apparently so i'm really happy about this i love you very much take care bye bye <laughs>